Hi, this is Dave from geekanoids.co.uk and this is my continued coverage of the Nokia N900 mobile phone. In this video, I'll be covering the display and user interface as well as the media playback and camera features of the handset. Now let's unlock the screen, which we do by pushing the power button on the top and then swiping to unlock. Now this has a 3.5 inch touchscreen display with an 800 by 480 pixel resolution. Now this is slightly different to normal Nokia mobile phones in the fact that it's running a new Linux based MIMO operating system. This offers four home screens that you can personalize with your own icons and shortcuts. You switch between them simply by moving your finger either to the left or to the right. Now you can personalize these home screens even further if I tap and hold anywhere on the screen it comes up with a desktop menu across the top. If I tap that it gives me options to add a shortcut, a bookmark, change the background or theme, you could add a contact widget or even manage the various views. For this example let's add a shortcut. Here I'm presented with a list of shortcuts I can add. These are all of the applications that are installed onto the handset. So let's scroll down this list. Let's choose Facebook. Now it puts the Facebook icon anywhere but I can actually click and hold and then I can drag this around and position it where I want. It's worth noting that with a, such a high resolution screen it's pretty much impossible to get the icons to line up exactly. It would be nice to have a snap to grid feature. If I want to keep this icon here I tap the done button. If I want to remove it I just tap on the cross and it removes the icon from the display. And When I finish personalising this particular display and I'm happy with it I can tap the done button. The touch screen is fairly sensitive but as you saw there I had to actually tap that done button about three times before it actually registered that I touched the screen. I do find myself having to reach for the stylus on occasions because it does actually react to that a lot better than using my finger. So anyway let's pop back out to the uh, main home screen which is done simply by swiping across this way and here you can see I've got shortcuts already set up here. And in my second video, I'll be looking at the web browsing of the phone as well as messaging. So for now, let's tap this menu button up here, which brings up access to all of the content on the phone. And let's pop into photos. Now in here, I can scroll through all of the photos that are stored on the device. It's worth noting also there's 32 gigabytes of memory installed on this handset. You can expand it further up to another 16 gigabytes with a micro SD card. Let's uh, tap on this photo to have a look. Very, very clear screen. I can zoom in using the rocker switch on the top of the device. And then when zoomed in, I can pan around the image with my finger. And then I can zoom all the way back out, back out to that gallery view. Let's move down all the way to the bottom. There's a couple of photos down here that I took earlier. This particular one here was taken with the flash set to automatic. And if I swipe to the right, this one was taken with no flash on at all. So very pleasing uh, design to this gallery view. Let's go back out to the main menu. Well, let's show you that camera in use. Before I do, I'll pop around the back here and show you that it's a Cole Zeus 5 megapixel autofocus camera. And just above this Tessar lens is a dual LED flash. There's also a sliding cover so when not in use you can protect the lens from dust and scratches. Now it does offer autofocus with a two stage capture key. I'm going to show you that in use now. Let's pop something under there to take a photo of. Now the two stage capture key is basically a dedicated button up here and it works in much the way, same way as a normal digital camera. You do a half push for it to focus and lock onto the subject and then once it's focused you push down the rest of the way to actually complete taking the photo. And that's one of the photos actually taken. I'm given the option of sharing it, tagging it or actually putting it into the trash. Some of the settings here we've got macro, we've got a portrait mode, we've got an action mode and landscape mode. We can also switch to video capture as well. Now 
worth noting that it does actually capture video at uh, 640 by 480 resolution and it will actually play back video formats as well it's got quite extensive support and I'll be showing you that in a short while but let's continue looking at this uh, camera mode so as well as those particular capture modes we can go into settings here we've got settings for white balance, ISO sensitivity resolution and exposure and then we've got some settings here for the flash we can either have it set to automatic as I had then to always on, red eye reduction or always off and then this bottom one here is uh, where we can actually gain access to the photos that we've already taken let's have a look at that one we took in that example and again we can zoom in further into the image and I must say that it is a very good camera the optics certainly do show that Nokia build great cameras into their mobile phone handsets there's a great de a great amount of detail in the resulting photo it's evenly lit good color balance so Nokia have done a very good job here now let's move on to showing you some video playback on the Nokia N900 so now we're going to look at the video capability of the phone now I'm going to pop into the main menu and then into the media player now it's worth noting before I show you some of the playback that this has two cameras on it the 5 megapixel camera on the back of the phone is capable of capturing widescreen video at 800 by 480 pixels the front camera is a VGA camera which is really going to be used for chat options now the video playback is very well supported you can play back H.264 MPEG-4, XFID, WMV and H.263 you can also stream various formats as well there is an optional video connectivity cable as well so you can output the video playback to a PAL or NTSC TV now in here I'm just going to tap on a trailer that's been downloaded onto the handset and the actual uh, video quality is absolutely superb very good definition very nice resolution screen it shows how good the screen is let's tap and we go back out to the main menu now while we're in the media player I'll also show you the music playback music playback again well supported it play back WAV files MP3 AAC and EAAC it's got a dedicated uh, three and a half mil audio jack on the phone so you can use regular headphones and here we're presented with all of the various cover art for the music we've got on the phone and if I tap on one it'll give me a list of all the tracks in the particular album tap again to start it playing we get cover art displayed and we would also get additional tracks listed down here we can use this little slider control to jump through to various parts of the music and then when we've listened to enough we can pause it we can skip tracks we can shuffle we can control the volume and we can go back out to the previous menu so it's got a good deal of support it's a good media player and the video playback really does show it to its best with this fantastic 800 by 480 uh, resolution display. Well, thanks very much for listening. Come back soon and check out more coverage of the Nokia N900 and more reviews on geekanoids.co.uk. This video review is sponsored by BMI Solutions, the largest reseller of document scanners within the UK, with a price promise guarantee.